Hello, Olivia here. This is a variation on one of our standard wrist exercises to try and target the index finger line of the back of the hand. The start-up position is to turn the hand that way, so the back of the hand is down on the floor, and start to straighten the elbow, and then I'm starting to move my body forward in order to bend at the wrist joint here. I'm also going to deliberately extend the thumb and rest it on the floor. Then what I'm going to do is put my other leg out to the side because I'm going to use it as a little bit of a driving force to try and drive my weight through this part of the back of the hand so that the little finger edge of the back of the hand is off the floor just a little bit because I'm trying to emphasize that index finger line. You can also put this other hand here initially and use it to move your body in relation to that hand so that you already feel a little bit of a stretch through that index finger line. I'm also feeling it at the base of the joint here and extending out through the back of the thumb. Then, leaving the thumb on the floor, start to curl all of the fingers and for me, because there's a bit of inflammation through that index finger line, the index finger doesn't want to curl up as much as the others, so I'm going to give it a little bit of assistance. The other hand, I'll bring it into position. You have to play around with what works for you, but I find if I just rest the knuckles on the floor and put my thumb behind the base of the middle joint there and really help curl the finger in, or I should more accurately say bend more right at the base there, press on that joint and then actively try and curl that index finger and that winds up that line a lot. Then I'm going to shift my weight more towards the thumb and curl more. You could do a contraction there, so the index finger and try and press it back against that restraining thumb. Three, two, one. And then curl more, press more, lean a little bit more weight through the thumb side of that hand. That is pretty intense for me. Then you can just do some tiny little movements of the hand just to vary the angle a little bit. Wow, that's intense. Now, I'm doing the index finger because that's a sensitive line for me, but there's no reason you couldn't emphasize one or more of the other fingers. The test here is when you do the initial curling action, which of the fingers doesn't want to get with the program? That's probably the tightest one. It's resisting that curling action. So that's the one you're going to focus on. Uncurl, come back, and wriggle around. So if you have any discomfort through any of the lines through the back of the hand, and it may cross the wrist as well, have a play with that sequence. I'll just make one more comment. Putting the hand like this and coming forward seems to be completely different to doing it this way and going back. It's just a different stretch and a more effective stretch in my hand. Give that one a go.